the Master of Science in Data Science program at Northwestern, MSDS, uh, is at Northwestern. I didn't have to go too far, though. I live in LA. Uh, we're a distance learning program. And we're implementing Go within our data science program. We're an outlier. Most of data science hasn't figured it out yet. In data science, Python is number one. There's scikit-learn. There's a lot of natural language processing, tools, libraries, packages. There are clients to deep learning. And Go is thought of as the glue language, replacing Perl of before, used in DevOps extensively across the entire data pipeline. Python's number one, R isn't going away. R is the world of applied statistics, static graphics, R data frames for many of the older data scientists in the community, like myself, are preferred to pandas data frames. And curiously, a lot of people like to start counting at one. Two years ago, I gave a lightning talk uh, wearing the same sweater. A lot has changed in those two years. In fact, I'm guessing that many of you think my entire presentation could have been written by ChatGPT. But some things haven't changed. We're still worrying about performance. We're still doing things to improve performance. There are difficulties with Python and R. Here's a stack, a software stack, that's still used. Spark on top of Scala, on top of the JVM. And to allow us to speak Python, as we like to do, we'll run Python on top of, Go, uh, on top of C. Hey, ChatGPT, what could possibly go wrong with the maintenance of two software stacks instead of one? Indeed, what could go wrong? If we really think about it, a lot can go wrong with the complexity of other systems. With Go, we have a solution that takes us from systems level all the way up to the application level. We have the language of the cloud, the language of distributed processing, and a language that really isn't that hard to learn. What do you need to do to do data science right? Well, you need to have an understanding of the scientific method. You need representative samples if you want to make inferences to populations. Data frames are nice as a data structure. Efficient algorithms are good to have. Machine learning and intelligence. Databases, knowledge base to keep track of what we know. And an openness to new technologies. Typically, data science is open to new technologies. Why not go? This is a course I am teaching now. It's an introduction to go for data engineering specialists within the data science program. Students who come into the program do have some initial problems but my sense is their problems have to do with Go being the second or third or fourth language. And they're unlearning all the bad habits they learned from other languages. Go is also the primary language now across six courses within the Master of Science and Data Science program at Northwestern. 
It's not the only language that's taught. We also have to keep teaching Python and R uh, because to do the job of data science today, you have to be multilingual. This website gives information about our program and the courses in the program, as well as the software that's used. Go should really be the first language. You hear it all the time. Python is so easy to learn. And if you hear that Go is, is hard to learn, it's usually because Go isn't the first language students learn. When it comes to programming, to software development, discipline and structure are good. This site provides information about Go for data science, training materials for Go in data science, and for Go in general. And this Data Science Quarterly is a way to extend to the larger community of data science. Announcing today at GopherCon uh, is a public repository. As you can see, we have a little work to do on this repository, um, but we welcome gophers and data scientists to contribute over the next couple years.